Mr. Waite waved abundantly at the young couple as he drove his car just inside the gate. He got out and headed towards them. Nash quickly turned the car off, and both he and Viona wound their windows down. There was no escaping the man whose car now blocked their exit. Hot diggity dog! Who is this stunning couple? Thomas exclaimed. How are you, Nash? Looking very smart, I see. And Lolo, you look absolutely gorgeous. His booming voice was so loud that everyone in the neighborhood must have heard his words. If he was trying to embarrass his daughter, he was certainly succeeding in that endeavor. Yet, his abundant admiration for Viona had, in fact, given her the quiet confidence she needed. Hi, Mr. Waite, Nash said casually. Good to see you. Hey, Dad, added the girl. Sorry to be so late, the man replied. I came as fast as I could. It's fine, Dad, Fiona answered hurriedly. But we had best be off now. Can't be late for Dot's pre-ball. Thomas directed his attention to Nash. I hope you'll take good care of my girl tonight. I will, sir. Fiona liked the way he answered her father so respectfully. And you're leaving your mum's car at Dot's place and then taking the limo from there to the ball, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll pick you both up with Dot and her date from Sushan Palace at midnight. Is that still the plan? Yes, Dad, said Fiona, growing a bit impatient. Now we need to go. Do you think we could please get out the gate? Oh, yes, righto. I'll back out and let you two go. Thomas farewelled the pair with, Have fun and drive safely. The man's voice cracked as he quickly got into his car and backed out onto the road. Rathena chuckled from the upstairs window, highly entertained by it all. Memories of her first ball experience also came flooding back. She recalled a similar scene that had taken place when she was also sixteen, between her extravagantly bold Bowmanese mother and her shy, lanky ball date. She recalled how self-conscious she too had been that night. If anyone could imagine exactly how Viona was feeling as she was driven to the pre-ball, it was her mother. The sound from her right hand drew Rathena's attention back to the harp, and she tentatively put the earbuds back in as she looked out at the driveway below. Never laid eyes on anyone just as breathtaking as you. He thought to himself They nervously get in the car And he stalls and they laugh Breaking the ice Killing the silence Then it starts to rain And she worries again Will my hair stay straight? And he's just as frustrated Kicking himself for not saying anything She is too beautiful He doesn't know what to say The moments just fall away When he keeps inside What's on his mind She is so beautiful The young couple in the car stayed in silent mode for a while, unlike Nash's phone. It buzzed a few times. Just ignore it, he said, the first words to come out since they'd driven away from Viona's house. He kept trying to think of nice things to say to her, but none of the compliments or sentence starters felt right in his head, so he just kept quiet. This was quite a new experience for the usually talkative Nash, who had never lacked skills of conversing easily with a girl but now that he was having to deal with these newly discovered feelings for his best friend, he was out of his comfort zone. Viona also remained quiet, looking out the window and wondering why they both couldn't find anything to say. 